let's carry forward and talk about how you can go further, right? There are some additional resources that we'd like to point you towards um, that are both um, kind of hard resources as well as online resources. And there are some other upcoming events that we're hosting that um, would allow you to explore scripting in Grasshopper with Python a little bit further. Um, so in terms of additional resources uh, like primers and books, uh, you've got the Python for Rhino 5 primer that's written by Steve Bear and Skylar Tibbetts, as well as, and that's specific for using Python in Rhino. And um, you also have the um, Programming Python uh, O'Reilly book, which is a kind of a more general overview of using Python uh, and its specific syntax, as opposed to just um, working with it in Rhino. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, there's also the Python forum where, um, for Rhino where you can uh, sign up. There's uh, some really good references here to learn more about um, scripting with Python and Rhino, as well as a community of individuals that are actively using um, Python for Rhino uh, that are very willing to um, help you if you need some pointers, um, as well as there's the through this page is a way for you to communicate with Steve Bear, who um, hosts the forum as well as develops the um, integration of Python for Rhino. Uh, there's also the uh, Rhino Python group on the Grasshopper page. Um, and again, another way to access the community of people that are using this, but this is specific for using Python and Grasshopper, whereas the other one was just about Rhino, um, Python and Rhino. And then um, additionally, uh, we're hosting a number of upcoming events, um, which we'd be uh, really excited if you were able to join us for. Uh, the first is actually starting tomorrow. This is the Lattice Lab, which is going to be on topological modeling and 3D printing. This is sponsored by Shapeways. It's going to be really fun if you're here in the city and you're able to join us this weekend. Uh, we're going to be modeling uh, 3D printing the whole weekend, and every participant will be able to um, receive a print from Shapeways at the conclusion of the workshop. Um, so thank you again to Shapeways for that. Uh, we also have another webinar. The final webinar in the fall series is coming up in a couple of weeks on November 30th. That's specifically on taking the content that we looked at today much further, where we're going to be developing Python components in Grasshopper, um, doing much more advanced exercises um, in writing uh, Python code from scratch, as well as looking at some uh, more advanced logics like branching and things like that that rely upon recursion and developing them inside of Grasshopper. And we also uh, have a growing library of uh, courses that are related to um, the other webinars that we've taught thus far in the fall. Um, so there's the introduction to parametric design with Grasshopper and um, going further with data trees. Also, if you wanted to look at um, specifically how to panel surfaces or create dynamic patterning in Grasshopper. Uh, those videos can be accessed at uh, ModeLab under the videos category or at this uh, particular URL. So thank you again for attending. Um, we'd love if you could connect with us on Facebook um, and sign up for our newsletter. Both, both of those ways will allow you to um, uh, receive the most up-to-date information as to uh, webinars we're offering and upcoming events as well as whenever we post content uh, that's either related to any of our um, uh, lateral design or lab uh, initiatives. Um, and you can subscribe to the newsletter either on Facebook uh, through the apps section or on our uh, ModeLab website under the subscribe. And in either case, there will be um, uh, postings on um, both the event this weekend, which we're really excited about, the last lab, as well as when the um, videos of this webinar will be posted online. So thank you again for attending uh, the Introduction to Python Scripting and Grasshopper webinar. We hope you enjoyed it and um, not only had fun, but uh, learned a lot about being able to script with Python. And we hope that uh, you'll come, come back again and see us in the near future for another webinar or workshop. And we're going to leave the, um, the webinar open, the broadcast open, for a couple more minutes to answer any last-minute questions. Uh, and remember that we'll be posting the videos, the content, 
um, and the PDF of the presentation uh, in the next week or so, um, and we'll send you a direct email about that. And then I guess one last note, we're about to schedule the, or finalize the schedule for the winter and spring webinar series. So if you have suggestions or particular interests that you'd like to see a webinar uh, format um, relate to, go ahead and send us a line either through Facebook or send us an email at webinar at studiomode.nu. And thank you again, and we look forward to your participation again next time.